Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wobbles here, and welcome to another episode of Attack of the Bee Team. And just before we start, I wanted to let you guys know that we are doing the marathon. This is the Friday upload. We got Saturday and Sunday. We are doing daily to really kickstart this series again and really get into it. I think we are making some phenomenal, phenomenal progress. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys like the idea of this uh, daily Attack of the Bee Team, make sure you hit that like button. We're going to go for a pretty ridiculous goal, and if you guys consistently break the goal this weekend, I think I'm not really going to have a choice but to continue this pretty much every day. But let's go for 5,000 likes. If we hit it, well, we're definitely going to continue daily. If not, that's okay. We're going to go daily anyways this weekend, so party for everybody. Either way, enjoy the episode, take care, and hot and spicy. So I missed the sunset to start this episode off, and instead we are left with the stars. I'm not complaining. How could you complain? Look at them. Just take a, a good moment and just look at them. Rotating around, looking all pretty. Not good enough, we're going to wait for the sunset. Okay, uh, well, we're close. So, uh... Uh, let's just hang out for a little bit. Wait for the the sunset. How was how was your day? Mhm. Mm it was good. I have a I have a nooch sleeping on my couch just behind me. So uh that's pretty cool. Hopefully he doesn't wake up in this episode. <laughs> welcome back to Attack of the Beat. Oh, well, welcome back. No, we can wake him up. Nooch. Noochie boochie. He's passed out. Uh, it is it is early morning. It is early, early morning. So welcome back to Attack of the Bee Team. I've been doing a whole bunch of work. I just could not uh, rest, and I had to play some Minecraft. And I've been doing a whole lot of work on the on the the house. I guess you could uh, you could call it. Um, oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, I've just been purging. Uh, and I have this kind of uh, again continuing with the new philosophy of just kind of cleaning up the place and uh, trying to make it a lot more simple, a lot easy, uh, a lot easier to work with. Not all these complicated hues and do's and dibbity dop do's and uh, getting rid of the firewood. That's what it was this firewood is just hideous uh also i was reading your comments uh shift left click and i get the block back uh shift right click left shift left click uh, <laughs> shift right click i don't know all right sunset oh no don't go <gasps> the whole new world morphing from bad to a man in a hat what more do you want to see? Maybe my spleen, but <laughs> that's gonna stay in my body. <laughs> okay, that's glorious. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that color. Wow, I love sunsets in real life, by the way. Just like, you know, driving on uh, on a country road or something, you know, heading out to a uh, uh, a new a new place or a country house or just just traveling and you get that sunset that nice kind of uh, pink hue nothing better uh, we're actually gonna sleep this off uh, just because uh, we oh there we go um, yeah just because it's not really uh, not uh, not really worth the nighttime there's been creepers walking around a couple of them have almost got me while working so we're just gonna stay away from that but oh my god we have so much work to do in this episode uh, as you can tell I took out a whole bunch of iron. And we are going to need iron blocks out the wazoo. This is actually not even close to enough. Probably going to have to do mining in this episode. We'll do uh, as much as possible uh, with the with the amount that we have. Uh, but I wanted to make a couple things for the kitchen. Let's let's go check out the kitchen. By the way, I didn't do any work on this area uh, quite yet. But uh, I do have some plans working with... Uh, what did my inventory got messed up here? Uh, working with this, which I don't know if any of you guys know, but I was reading the comments and apparently that's uh, really cool, uh, which I'll show you guys in a second. But so if we come over here, you can check out the new area. Uh, by the way, I I didn't really uh, get any comments. Now I am recording this a couple hours. I, I tried to wait as long as possible. That's why it's so early in the morning, so I can read your comments before uh, dipping into this episode. And no one really commented. A lot of people commented about. The lock, and I get the answer now. A lot of people commented uh, about the carpenter's hammer being able to take off blocks, um, and a lot of people uh, commented about those things and, and also other things, but no one really mentioned uh, or sent me any uh, designs. Now, it has only been a couple hours, so I, I am, I'm not surprised, but I have a couple ideas, and I, I want to play around with some things just because of the whole the, the carpenter's chisel block. Uh, but yeah, so this is this has remained the same. I, I really do actually, I'm liking the way this looks. Now that we've segued this off and kind of 
to cut this off. It makes it look even bigger and more grand, like really walking into a nice big room. And this is going to be the biggest room in the entire place, which uh, I'm excited about. So we've got this place done. I finished up all of this and uh, the kitchen here. So the kitchen, I, I really like it personally. Um, I was reading a comment um, and I think what we are going to do is we are going to do this uh, a cool pattern. Um, for the kitchen like a tile pattern, uh, but I'm not entirely sure I probably shouldn't have dropped the out. Oh, right. I'm not a bat <laughs> Let's turn let's turn back into a bat because uh, just wiffles is is uh, not as good uh, So let's go ahead and just put these back here um, Okay, uh, one two, so I'm not really sure what sort of pattern we're gonna do yet But I, I do like the way the kitchen looks so far. It's nice. It's small. It's concise um, It doesn't look great on the outside, but I have some ideas on fixing that um, and maybe we can get to that this episode but it's it's not too big sticking out and I think we can make it work if not we'll, we'll make it happen um, So so yeah, it's it's cool uh, What I did do is I really like these stars up on here And the reason I did these stars up on the roof is because uh, Typically, you know butlers and chefs and cooks who are working in the kitchen I feel like it's really cool. They get to now look up at the sky here and see uh, these wonderful stars So give them some a little bit of hope or something which I think is a nice little touch But let's work a little bit on the kitchen. We have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to do here um, The first thing and the main thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get a stove up in here uh, and uh, oh not a stove uh, an oven and we actually can do that. Uh, Mr. Creative Fish Furniture Mod gives us an oven, but the thing is is that it's all these iron blocks uh, We can actually do it with a furnace in the middle uh, iron coins, iron vents, all of this stuff just looks brutal, brutal to make. Um, doesn't look like we're going to get away with microscope. That's kind of cool. Let's be honest right there. Um, wow. Look at all these great things we can make with iron. Um, so we really need to look at this. So we're going to have a, a fridge in here. We're going to put a fridge. Uh, we're going to put an oven uh, and not a printer, obviously, and not a rocket launch pad. But definitely those two things. So we're, we're going to need a ton of iron. And it's going to be fairly easy to get. I'd like to do that now. I guess. Oh my god. Am I going to do that right now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we could do that. Sure. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a cut. Grab a whole bunch of iron. I just want to make sure I don't have any lying around here somewhere. I feel like I had more. Uh, maybe I just smelted some. Oh, we do have a little bit more iron. Okay, not nearly enough to uh, satisfy our requirements, but it's a start. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw some more charcoal in here and get those last two burning. Uh, boom, and then boom, and we're just going to throw a couple in here, a couple in here, and the rest in there. We'll get that iron burning. How much more do we have? 28. Oh, man. We need so much. We need so much. However, we can make our uh, oven, which is really cool. And what do we need to make? Oh, that's great. Just glowstone and normal iron. That's That makes me really happy. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this right now. Furnace in the middle. So we got to get some cobblestone. Do we even have cobblestone? Okay, okay, okay. Breaking it down right now. One step at a time. One step at a time. We need to make ourselves uh, induct... In... A, n n n n n n what's it called? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, the name is really, really hard to remember, and there's 37 pages. Um, let's see here. It makes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go AFK just for a second. I'm not well, not really AFK. Hardly AFK. I'm gonna go get a couple iron, and I'm gonna see what we need to make uh, cobblestone with. I, I know what it is, guys. You don't need to comment. Uh, someone already was nice enough to comment in the last video, and uh, I'm gonna try and make it. I think, if I remember correctly, it's pretty simple. And then we gotta make a whole bunch of other things. Oh, before that, how oh, can I not start the episode off with this? Let's lock this chest, um, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Goodness. Oh, and I'm in morph. I'm in morph, so it's turned into waffles. And let's go ahead and lock this thing up. Oh, that's really cool. So now if we try and open up the chest, it does not open. So everyone will have their specific key. That is going to be so awesome. Uh, we'll color code them all. Everyone will come in and take a color coded key. We'll have them on keychains, maybe hanging on a shelf somewhere. It's going to be brilliant. And probably what I'm thinking is this door will come out here and that'll be the entrance. Like it's going to be that simple. This place is going to be very, very simple. We're going to just simplify it. Uh, if we could just look at our map here real quick. We'll have the dining room here. Uh, we'll have our, our work area here. So bang, 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 coming out in all areas. Going to clean up this area right here, um, which is the right now the sugarcane farm. So we're just going to get rid of all of this just to clean it up. Um, and then this will have another 
area, just like the kitchen up on this side, which I'm not really sure what it'll be. Probably will be a staircase that'll head down into the bottom area, and the bottom area will be completely enclosed, and it'll be like a, a nice big kind of room for me to work with, which I'm really excited for because I definitely do need that. And then the back area will be the lobby as well as the entrance. Uh, so you come in from the rear, you walk in, and you come into the house. So it should be pretty cool. It'll almost look like a T with an entrance at the, at the tip of the T, which I think is going to be sweet. So let me go AFK for one second. I don't know what I'm clicking here. Um, and I'll be right back with a whole bunch of stuff. And look, we have a little lock on our key. Lucky, lucky dog, he's got a jobby. All right, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. It is nighttime, but that's okay. We are relatively safe. Actually, probably not. Uh, we're going to save it just a second, though. Oh, creepers might be creeping. Uh, this place is not lit up appropriately. I'm a little bit afraid they'll start popping up in places. But uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna take our chances here. And uh, the thing that we need is an igneous uh, extruder. Igneous extruder is relatively easy to make, but we do need more iron and uh, tin ingots. So uh, we have a couple tin ingots. Let's just take out four. Uh, we're gonna need more iron than that, so iron is like the hot topic of this episode. Seriously, like this is like the iron chef episode. <laughs> like, what is going on? Uh, we are trying to get our uh, our our chefs, our kitchen made up, but we need a whole bunch of iron. <laughs> it's pretty much what's going down right about now. All right, so let's just put this up. Let's make this go a little bit faster. In the meantime, maybe we can actually sleep um, and just cook all this stuff real quick. Throw some food and you know let's just do this chest right here uh, actually we'll just keep it in our inventory we can handle that now can't we um all right keeper keeper creeper we're all good to go so what do we need uh the two pneumatic uh pneumatic servo uh two iron ingots one redstone two glass uh we have the glass two glass uh, we have the two redstone and uh we have the iron is it two iron yeah a two iron one redstone not two redstone one iron okay i can handle that um, so let's go ahead and make that. We literally have no iron left. This is all the iron that we have. Okay, so uh, if I remember correctly, you know, we're just gonna, we're not even gonna waste time. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada bing. Let's just do this. Creepers might be creeping. Uh, very afraid. Okay, there we go. We got that bad boy. Uh, now we need a piston. So just, you know, normal cobblestone. Again, not something we have a lot of. Uh, and uh, what's in the middle? I mean, I think I would know to make a piston by now. Am I right? But kind of a nub, kind of a nub. I admit it. See what I mean? See what I mean? Cobblestone. Why? Oh, it's not just normal cobblestone. It's... It would be normal cobblestone. I think it's my phone telling me to go to sleep. Excuse me. You are not allowed to tell me none. Uh, let's just try with uh, with oak wood. Because apparently cobblestone doesn't want to work. Uh, unless I'm just, I probably just did it wrong. Like, probably mixed up that. Okay. Oh, I'm a derp. <laughs> I am a derp. Oh, God. All right. Well, we just totally edited that out, but we didn't because you guys get to watch me derp um, because uh, it happens. It 100% happens. I just was not reading that right because I get very confused when it starts like switching around and stuff. Yeah, I find that annoying. Um, oh, machine frame. Do we have um, a machine frame left? No, we don't. Well, we can make one. Gold in the middle, glass, and then uh, just iron. Okay, so we need uh, one gold. Let's just make two we need glass and we need um, glass and iron okay we got that we got four iron perfect so so again just save ourselves some time go ahead and make this bad boy like this three four one and then thank god we have a lot of glass i picked that up uh, in the middle of doing these episodes uh, definitely something that's necessary holy moly and we don't even like i wanted to turn that into sand that's the messed up part um I just, yeah, I was like, I just want, I just want some iron, man. Why you make it so difficult for me? Um, by the way, I know I, I like placing the blocks in here. I find it's fun. Uh, I know, I know you can do it a faster way. I oh, is that that's ten? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, there we. What? What's the issue here? Ten ingot, glass. Okay. Piston. I could do normal glass. Okay. Tin ingot. Where's my, uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's not the right machine frame. 
That is not... Oh, it is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what did I do wrong there? I am so confused. So this is our first thing that's going to be added to our ultra cool basement of awesomeness. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw it on uh, on this wall here. Uh, why not? Just go ahead and put it... I'm sure we can always move it, but we'll just go bam, like that. Um, and then I think we need... Okay, so cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. That's awesome. Uh, MBs, MBs. Right, let's get like a little bit of a tutorial here. The redstone control tab configures how the device reacts to redstone signals. Okay, so I'm sure that's for pipes and whatnot. Uh, information mixes water and lava to make different types of uh, igneous rock. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, igneous. Uh, the selected item is what you'll get if there is enough water and lava in the tanks. MC physics is fun. Yes, it is. Um, okay, so we're going to have to grab a whole bunch of buckets which requires more iron. Oh my god, Mr. Wuffles is not catching a break today. No, Sir Bobby is not. Do we have buckets of stuff? Maybe we do? Or at least buckets. I know we have buckets. Uh, that's one bucket. Don't want to make it... Oh, you sneaky, sneaky son of a gun. Look at you trying to snipe me in the back of the head. That is brutal. It's an assassin. Um, it's okay, we survived it. We survived it barely. It was a rough day today. Wolfers was almost eliminated by a skeleton. I think we would have been able to tank at least a couple hits. Okay, so we only have, ah, three buckets. Awesome. Okay, so we really only probably need to make like three more, I'm guessing, and then fill those up with lava just so we save ourselves a little bit of time. So let's just go and do that. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. I think it's worth it. So let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch, three three buckets of water, three buckets of lava. We'll do six buckets of water and then six buckets of lava just to save ourselves some time and I'll be right back. This is a big moment for me. And a lot of you guys are going to laugh at me for being like teary eyed, but this is the first machine that I've ever put together and I'm really excited. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how excited I am. Uh, I finally have dipped in and done this. I mean, I... You guys know me. I don't really do modded Minecraft that much, and that's why I've been procrastinating building the glorious, well, attempted the glorious house that I am and uh, working on right now. And my first machine, the simplest, most easiest machine to set up, but a machine nonetheless. And I am super excited to show you my wonderful, wonderful Ingeus, Ingeus. Extruder. I, that, that word is literally the bane of my existence, but check it out. So you fill it up with a whole bunch of lava, and that's like not even going down at all. That's like, wow, you know what? That's going to last a really, really long time. And it's just putting it together and making cobblestone. You're going, well, where's going the cobblestone? Well, it's going to this uh, reinforced diamond chest, and this is just going to absolutely fill up with just loads of cobblestone. Then we're going to come in with the chisel. We're going to make it into this wonderful wall, and we're just going to have infinite. We officially have infinite cobblestone. I mean, why did I not do this earlier? Good question. Good question. So that's our first really cool machine. I feel like we can get like one, two, three, four, like five auto producing. Uh, probably should make one, like do another one and then make it just produce stone. Do another one and make it produce obsidian uh, because it does do that. Uh, so uh, let's do that now. Uh, can I, do I have enough stuff to make that happen? Uh, DNA extractor. Ooh. So I got to make another piston. I got to make another... I mean, we definitely have the stuff to make it happen. Uh, let's let's do it. I'm going to go AFK again for just a second. Uh, do it off camera. It's really... Again, you guys have already watched me make it. And I'll come back and I'll have all three of them uh, ready. One, two, three. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. Be right back. Okay, so upon further review, apparently <laughs> stone and obsidian take a lot more water. And obsidian takes a lot more of both lava and water and it just consumed pretty much all I had uh, so we're definitely gonna have to set up some pipes with some lava source or definitely water source for the stone doesn't look like it takes much lava but definitely like an infinite water source should be really easy to do in fact probably could do it right now um, if we make oh we got a little bit of a puddle here let's just uh, go right here into our infinite water source grab uh, make our own infinite water source perhaps right behind let's go ahead and just break the obsidian one because we're not going to be using that right now we're definitely going to need more um or figure out a way to do it with lava uh for now so let's just get rid of this bad boy real quick like that go ahead and make a hole in the floor are we a bat we're bat okay <laughs> i'm like am i a bat am i a batman who knows 
Only I know. Cause I'm Batman. Um, let's just ch let's just chisel this just for now. If we want to replace it, we can. Uh, no one's really gonna see it, so maybe we'll do like a uh, damaged cobblestone just just for the yellow, just because it looks absolutely terrible. That's actually the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But whatever. Uh, and if we make ourselves an infinite water source, just like this, and then put our lovely uh, bad boy on top like that, and then set it so that the bottom is. Is that gonna work, or do we need to like suck it up? Um, let's just see here. What color is this here? Uh, hold on a second. Oh, is this this is this is leaving us? Is it? Uh, hold on one second. That should work. I don't really see a color, however. All right, let's just get rid of the water here. I say get rid of the water. Oh my god. Uh, infinite water source fail. Ha. Huh. And then uh. And then, oh my god, it's like infinite upon infinite upon infinite. I can't even, like, uninfinite it. That's how that's how powerful this infinite source is. Okay, uh, we're just going to break it then. We're just going to break it. Okay, so it is blue down there. And blue, last time I checked, is to, uh, to suck it up. Yeah, so this should be empty. This should be empty. The backside should be empty. And then the blue should have water beneath it. If I just do an infinite water source, oh shoot. Uh, if I just do an infinite water source like that, why you know, why you know fill up? Maybe, maybe I need some sort of like a pipe or something, which would be understandable. Is that filling up? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we don't really have a uh, time in this episode to to figure that out, but you guys let me know. Uh, I'll 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 look into it. But there's for sure just like a simple pipe system, uh, a really quick inventory, a, a really quick tutorial, and I could figure that out. Uh, would would not take long at all. But either way, we'll let that uh, cobblestone generator just chew chew. We're gonna have an absolute metric ton of cobblestone in no time, enough to easily build up the entire okay creepy chest of doom. It's kind of weird. Um, like, yeah, we're, we're pretty much set when it comes to that stuff. Now, we have so, so much. Uh, we got marble cooking. We got glass cooking. Wow, we are, we're doing really good, actually, for the first time in history. But actually, really, really surprising. So, uh, we got those all rock and rolling. Let's go ahead and do what we were originally going to do this episode, which was a lovely oven. Uh, which we never even got to. So uh, we need a furnace, and now that we have our cobblestone generator, we can go ahead and grab the cobblestone. That's what this whole thing was for. Oh my God! Okay, so look at we got our cobblestone. <laughs> oh, the fields, man, right in the fields. That just that's awesome. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a furnace like this, and now we go ahead and make this thing. So a whole bunch of iron blocks, put a furnace in the middle, and we now have an oven. We need to go ahead and do this, which is one glowstone, which do I have? I know I have uh, glowstone dust. I'm not sure where I put it. Did I? It's not in my inventory. Um, did I throw it away or something accidentally? That's real. Oh, I have a ton right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's make a couple uh, glowstones here. Assuming I'm going to probably need like four or whatever. Um, and then we'll go ahead, throw out the raw silicon, take some more iron. Uh, I hate full inventories, but it's what we're working with right here. And I believe, oh, a fan? That's cool. And we got one of these bad boys. Okay, awesome. What can we throw out here? Uh, da -da 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 this thing. Okay. So let's go ahead and place this thing. Um, probably should sleep, but uh, creepy, creepy. Okay. Boom. And then. Boom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not what we wanted. Uh, up here. Ooh, oh, that's pretty sweet. That is pretty cool. Now, how do we extend this? How do we get? Maybe like a micro block would do it. Do we gotta do micro blocks and just make it go all the way up to the top here? Uh, in the meantime, however, let's just let's just put that like so, um, and then maybe put. Uh, a glowstone behind perhaps just to make it just to just to lighten this place up a little bit uh, We'll just do like this and then like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool um, This can get say bye-bye and obsidian. We don't want that 
Um, do we have any more? Chisel. Chisel's the way to go. Can we chisel glowstone? Oh my god, you can. Neon glowstone. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, we're placing you back here, buddy. Oh, wow. That looks really, really, really good. That looks so cool. Okay, awesome. Uh, my day is made. Yes, it is. We actually haven't even looked at stone. What does stone switch into here? Stone snake block. That's pretty cool. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, let's just see what this looks like. A really cool stone brick just like that. Like if we put that right there. Making our uh, making our kitchen look pretty swank. But check that out. Uh, we now have an oven. So what goes next to an oven? Well, uh, big counter space. So let's go ahead and get that rocking and rolling. Uh, counter. I don't think there is such a thing as a counter. Uh, I'm thinking instead of that mob counter cover. Not really what we're looking for. Uh, or just a counter. Because I think that's actually like a ch 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 counter. Uh, or a counter weight. Um, this is not at all what we're looking for here. Maybe slab. We maybe put like a micro block on top. Um... I'm thinking probably best thing to do is to go ahead and grab that marble from downstairs um, and use that. Uh, let's go in here, get this marble, uh, open up our chisel, and maybe you know, let's let's head up. Let's head up here and see what we can do. Because this is probably what's going to look the best in here. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so we're looking more for the side of it. You know, we can have maybe like a light. Creeper? No, it looks terrible. That does not look good. Imagine if I died to a creeper while I was doing that. That'd be the greatest thing that ever happened. Uh, probably just marble with large dent is going to look the best. Yeah, just like that. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Let's be honest. Just like a nice, easy counter. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, liking the way that looks. Going to want to put something else here and probably something else here. Not entirely sure what yet. However, that glowstone looks really cool. I almost want to have two more of those in the corner just to light, really light this place up. Uh, this neon glowstone is just OP. Look at that. Wow, that looks so good. All right, the kitchen is coming together. Do we have enough iron blocks to make the fridge? I don't think so. So I think we're going to have to end it for this episode. Um, let's see here. One, two. Yeah, we're definitely getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have... Three. So we're pretty far off. We don't have anything else cooking in the furnace that can be useful to us for iron purposes. And I think we're all out here. Hmm. Oh, the sadness, the sadness. Well, that's that's okay. That's all right. Uh, worst things have happened. We will go ahead and do a little bit of mining for uh, the next episode. But uh, our machine, our first machine, Wolfles' first machine to make cobble has been completed, um, as well as uh, the kitchen really coming together already. I mean, I already think that looks really good in my mind. Like, I, I think that's awesome. I think we're going to do is we're going to put probably a double fridge right here. Uh, bang, bang, just like this. Uh, maybe do another counter here, uh, like, like that. Do a fridge just like this. And see what other kitchen stuff we can do. I wonder if we type in kitchen. No, we're, we okay. So nothing. But uh, Mr. Crayfish, uh, bird bath. No. Let's just look real quick. Maybe a computer. I don't know. Um, other cool stuff. Package, oven, overheat. Okay. Mailbox. Not what we're looking for. Probably gonna want a TV in there. Probably gonna want a TV in there. That's kind of necessary. Probably not a Christmas tree. But the way, we got a lot of work to do here. Um, a lot, a lot of work to do. Definitely gonna add in that fridge, and not sure what to do on this other side. Um, just like this. That's really looking. That looks like there's some good room for uh, for cooking. Not gonna lie. Uh, pretty awesome. We're gonna get some shelves. Oh, you know what? Let's end the episode with making a little bit of shelves. Um, let's see here. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We need those like. Not bookcases, but the mm, hmm, jungle shelves, spruce. Spruce is obviously the best call, uh, especially for the look of this place. So let's go ahead and do that uh, and just put those up. And then we're going to get like knives, maybe some swords. <laughs> get some big old swords in there. Make our, our chefs look extremely scary. Um, we've got this stuff actually right here. We can re-chisel that to basic uh, spruce wood. And then, how do we make these bad boys here? 
Let's see. So we need uh, whoa, wood slabs. You know what? I think we have a ton of those. I think we have an absolute metric ton of those. Look at that. All those spruce. Okay. Awesome. That's that's always a good feel. All right. So just one in the middle. Wow. Okay. Um, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Let's make five of them just to see what they look like. Awesome. Okay. We're going to go place them. See what's up. See what's cooking in the kitchen. So you come here uh, just on this side. We're going to have a whole bunch of spice rack shelves awesome and apparently a spruce shelf holding a spruce shelf god damn if that isn't a massive massive mind boggle who knows what is um we'll actually kind of leave that for now and you can throw all sorts of cute little things like cups and, and glasses and whatnot uh i don't think you can make cups but oh you can little beer pong cups oh plastic cups you know we're gonna make plastic cups we're going on an absolute rampage right now like can't even stop super ultra long episode uh we have plastic sheets oh, creepers this is like it's raining, it's sad. You know what, let's just, before we do anything, before we end this episode, um, let's, what? Did I, oh, oops, <laughs> wrong way. We actually only need one. That makes 16 of these things. Let's just sleep real quick. Um, take the, take the night as a rest, and, and we'll start outroing this thing out. Um, and we'll go ahead and put those cups on, see if that even works, and be ready for a party. We're getting there, guys. Either way, this has been Attack of the B Team. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you also check everyone out in the description below. There are lovely people. Look at that kitchen. It's looking really good. And if we place these cups on... no. Oh, well, that looks like absolute smorgasbord. Well, they're necessary, so we'll put them on there. Uh, you know what? I'm not really fiending when it's uh, when it's really close to the bottom there. Let's go ahead and, and fix this up. Can we, okay, so we got that back. So there and there. That's that's a lot better. We gotta we gotta leave some room here, and then we can put plastic cups. Okay, awesome. So we're we're getting somewhere. Our kitchen is coming coming to fruition. It is being born nice and slow, and I'm gonna leave this open for debate still. Um, but I definitely do like how the kitchen looks. I, I, I really do. I wonder if we, oh man, I can't stop. Uh, pantry. Something with like a little door, a closet. Hmm. Don't think there is like a cupboard. That's not nice, but wow. What, what, what am I doing? Cupboard? No. Cup. Cub. Hmm. Nothing that I see here. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode at least. Uh, we definitely did a, a lot of work here, and I'm loving the way things are coming together here. Uh, nice and simple is the way to go. We're going to get rid of all this in the next couple episodes, but that's later. Either way, if you guys enjoyed, make sure that like button, all that good stuff. Thank you for being the goodness. You guys are really the best. Take care, and goodbye.